the parabola is reflected in the x-axis then translated two units down. So first let's write the important points that we know. So what we're saying is this is a parabola so this is reflected about the x-axis so this is going to be your mirror line. So this is going to be the mirror line. Imagine this is a mirror. This is the mirror line and you're reflecting this about the x-axis and then you're going to so you're reflecting about the x-axis and then translating two units to the right so let's take this point so this point if it's re reflected about the x-axis this point will not move but then you're translating two units to the right so this point from negative one will come to this point this will this point will become this point okay so this is translated one two to the right so let me use a different color for the next point. So this point, this is 2 comma 0, is translated when you're reflecting about x-axis, nothing will happen because that's the mirror line. And you're going 2 to the right. So you go 1, 2. So this is your, this will translate here. So this point, so let me use a different color for this point. So this point is how much? This is 0 0.5. 0 0.5 comma this is 2 and this is 2.5 so this is 2.25 2.25 so first you're reflecting about the x-axis so when you reflect it will go here so this is the x-axis you've got one two three you've got one two sorry this is one this is two and this is two two and a quarter so you have to go two and a quarter up. So this is one, two, and a quarter here. So this is reflecting. And then you're translating two to the right. So this is one to the right. And this is two to the right. So this is your, this point. Your vertex is translated like this. So this point, your vertex now becomes what? This is, uh, this is 0 0.5 translating this point is how much this is this is 2.5 this is 2.5 and uh, this point your y coordinate would be 2.25 this is negative 2.25 and so this will be plus 2.25 plus 2 point uh, plus 2 point too far. Yeah, that's right. So your graph would look like this. So let me use a different color. So the graph of the translated parabola would be like this. So this is the okay. So this is not a good graph sketch. So this is a sketch of the trans. So this is the reflection. Sorry, reflection and translation. Okay. So let's look at Okay, so this, these three points are enough to drive the equation of the graph. So this point, and this point, and this point. Okay, so, but just looking at uh, the x-intercept, we can write the equation of the graph is y is equal to, so let me use a different color, y is equal to, that we know the x-intercept, this is 1, so this is 1 comma 0, and this is 4 comma 0. So that would be a times x minus 1 times x minus 4. Okay, so yeah, y is equal to a times x minus 1 times x minus 4 based on the x intercept. Now to find a, you have to substitute the vertex. So you can't put this point or this point in this equation because if you put x as 1 or x as 4 this whole thing is going to be 0 that's become this will become y is equal to 0 x will be cancelled so we're going to substitute we're going to substitute this point in this equation so what is this point telling me this point is telling me when x is when x is 2.5 when x is 2.5 my y is 
x is 2.5, your y is 2.25. So I'm going to put this in this equation, 2.25. So let's put this in this equation. So well, I can say 2.25 is equal to a times, uh, this is 2.5, take away 1, times 2.5, take away 4. So this is 2.25 is equal to a times a times 2.5 take away 1 is 1.5 and 2.5 take away 4 is negative 1.5. So this is 2.25 is equal to a times negative 2.25. So you can use a calculator. I know that 1.5 times negative 1.5 phi is negative 1.25. So now I'm going to divide both sides by 2.25. So if I divide this side by negative 2.25, sorry, so I'd also divide this side by negative 2.25. Okay, so what will happen? This and this gets cancelled. So your A is negative 1. A is negative 1. And so your final equation is Y is equal to so this is the question, what's the equation of the parabola? y is equal to negative 1 times x minus 4 times x minus 1, or you can go the other way around, x minus 1 times x minus 4. And the answer does make sense, and uh, that's your answer. Okay. You can also write, uh, those who want to be challenged, I want, would like you to do this. Based on the parabola, you can also write this equation like this, so y would be a times this and this are going to be the same. I want you to do that yourself. So this vertex, this parabola has gone 2.5 to the right, so this is 2x, sorry, a times x minus 2.5 squared, so I'll show this on a calculator, plus 2.25. This is called the vertex form, this, this parabola, and we already know that A is 1. Okay, so, so let's, so your A is negative 1 times x minus 2.5 squared, so let me show this graphically, plus 2.25. So this, what I'm saying is, this equation and this equation are the same, okay? So let's, let me show you that on the calculator. So go to graph and type in this equation, minus 1 bracket x minus 2.5 squared plus 2.25 and draw the graph. So this is your graph maximum is 2.5, 2.25. So GSOL maximum. 2.5, 2.25. So let's type in the other equation. So let's delete this. So that is minus 1 bracket x minus 1 bracket x minus 4. And draw the graph. We've got the same graph, GSOL maximum. Okay. Now, let's answer the other question. What's the y-intercept? So yeah, the y-intercept is when x is equal to 0. Your y-intercept you get when x is equal to 0. So let's put x is equal to 0 in this equation. So y is equal to negative 1 times 0 minus 4 times 0 minus 1. So this is minus 1 times, this is negative 4 times negative 1. So negative times negative times negative is negative, and this would be minus 4. So your y-intercept, you should always write like this. So this is 0, comma, negative 4. So let's confirm this. G solve y-intercept, 0, comma, negative 4. Okay, and what's the vertex? So we already know the vertex. Vertex is 2.5, 2.25. So your vertex is... 
comma 2.25. So we already checked that on the graphic calculator. So let me again show you. So this is the equation, G sol maxima, 2.5, 2.25. 